Welcome, and in this AWS Identity and Access Management Tip video, we're gonna learn how to create an IM policy which prevents users within our organization from launching Community Edition or Marketplace AMIs. This is important to ensure that our users follow our compliance and security processes, and in this, we are going to allow them to launch Amazon official images and images that are owned by our own account. Let's get started. To show you how I've done this, I've already created a custom IAM policy. So I'm gonna open up my console and go to policies and search for that policy called limit marketplace AMI use. Let's take a look at the policy that I've created. So we're gonna go open it up and select JSON to look at the direct policy. The policy has an effect of deny the actions of run scheduled instances and run instances on the following resources. This applies to launching Amazon machine images resource type, given the condition operator of string not equals Amazon or self. What this means, if the owner of the Amazon machine image is not Amazon itself, an official image, or if the owner of the Amazon machine image attempting to be launched by this user is not owned by the account in which the user belongs, it will deny the ability to run those instances, which means create those instances. You can add in additional accounts to expand the permission policy. To do so, what you would do is add in a comma, next line, and add in the additional account ID there. Now we are gonna go ahead and cancel that and go apply this policy to the actual IM user. I have a user created here called Linux Academy. So let's open up Linux Academy and add the permissions to the user. At this time, no permissions exist to the user. So we must first give it permissions to actually be able to launch EC2 instances. I'll do that by giving it Amazon EC2 full access. Next, what we'll do is look for our limit AMI marketplace policy that we just reviewed. And we are going to add that to the user. Remember, when it comes to IAM permissions, a, an explicit deny always overrules and allow. And by default, everything is denied. So we must first had to have given it launch permissions by giving full access, which means we allowed everything. Then we did an explicit deny, which will overrule and deny it unless the condition operator evaluates that Amazon is the owner or the account the user belongs to, also known as self, is the owner of the Amazon machine image. From here, I'm gonna open up an incognito window and log in as the user, and I'm gonna search for the service EC2. If you haven't recently visited, just type EC2 and open it up. From here, we're gonna to attempt to launch an instance by selecting an official Amazon machine image, which is available under Quick Start. This means it's owned by Amazon themselves. I'm going to just quickly go through the defaults and select no key pair since this instance will be ephemeral, which means we are just gonna delete it when we're done. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna to attempt to launch an instance that does not belong to Amazon or to our own account. To do that, we'll click on Community AMIs and randomly select a community-owned AMI. Next, again, we'll quickly go to Review and Launch. These aren't important since it is ephemeral, again. And we'll attempt to launch this instance. As you can tell, the launch has failed because we do not have permissions authorized to run this specific AMI.